using the term by term analysis, I managed to show that the first term is 1, second term is less than 1 factorial, third term is less than 1 over 2 factorial, okay, first term is less than 1 over 1 factorial as well, second term is less than 1 over 2 factorial, so let me highlight here, first term, sec, first term is 1, second term is less than 1 over 1 factorial, third term is less than 1 over 2 factorial, fourth term is less than 1 over 3 factorial and so on, and the k term is less than 1 over k factorial. Therefore, the binomial expansion for this thing, right, so this is going to be less than 1 plus 1 over 1 factorial for the second term, third term is 1 over 2 factorial, fourth term is 1 over 3 factorial, and fifth then 1 over 4 factorial and so on until the last term we get 1 over n factorial. So I managed to show you that after I apply the binomial expansion, each of term, term by term analysis, each term in the sum is less than 1 over n factorial, 1 over k factorial for example, which I managed to show you in the second key step. Now I want to show you that after I got all the term by term analysis, I, I want to show you that each of the k factorial is less than 1 over 2 power k minus 1, which is my third key step here. 1 over k factorial is less than or equal to 1 over 2 power k minus 1. How do I do that? Let's look at my analysis. Alright, the analysis is this one. Well, 1 over 1 factorial is less than 1. 1 over 2 factorial is uh, less than or equal to 2. 1 over 3 factorial is, you can see from here, 1 over 3 factorial is 1 over 3 times 2 times 1. But 3 is a number less than, greater than 2, right? So this reciprocal will we have this. And same thing, 1 over 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. We know 1 quarter is less than half, 1 third is less than half, and therefore, by making this comparison, you know that 1 over 4 factorial is less than 1 over 2 power 3. So if you continue this thing, you say 1 over n factorial. This is equal to n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 all the way to 1. Now, so as long as n is more than 2, you'll know that this number is less than 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 all, all the way until the last term is 1 and there are how many of them? The n minus 1 of them. So this is 1 over 2 power n minus 1. So we I managed to show you that every one of the n factorial, k factorial term is less than 2 power 1 over 2 power n minus 1. Therefore, 1 plus 1 over n power n, we know by binomial expansion is this, and I'll show you that each of term is less than this, up to the sum of factorial, and each of the sum of factorial, i show you that this is less than or equal to 1 over 2 power 0, this is 1 over 2 power 1, this is 1 over 2 power 2, this is 1 over 2 power 3, and so on, until the last term is 1 over 2 power n minus 1 as I showed you in the earlier analysis. All right. And so, in this case, now what is the sum of the last term now? So, let me show you the sum. If we have 1 over 2 power 0, 1 over 2 power 1, 1 over 2 power 2, all the way to 1 power n, let's call it Sn here. The way to find the sum is to multiply by half. So I multiply everything by half, you get 1 over 2 power 0 times half, you get 1 over 2 power 1. So all the terms shifted by half back, and the last term is 1 over 2 power n minus n plus 1 now. So you take this, say this is your first first line, this is the second line. So you take the first line minus the second line and see what happens. Then you get half, then you get Sn minus half of Sn. is equal to, you'll see a lot of cancellation. All the term in the common term cancel except this last first term and last term, alright? Except this term and this term stay. All the term 
in the middle because they are common when they subtract they all cancel and this will give you half of Sn equal to 1 s2 power 0 is 1 or 2 power n plus 1 therefore multiply by 2 now where Sn is equal to 2 minus 1 over 2 power n and you know that this thing is less than 2 Right. Therefore, the sum will be from 1 over 2 power 0 plus 2, 1 over 2 power 1, 1 over 2 power 2 is all the way to 1 over 2 power n is less than 2. So from here, I can continue. After I find the sum, this part is less than 2. Therefore, the whole sum is 1 plus less than 2 now, which is 3. Now we show that this show that conclude that 1 plus 1 over n is bounded above by 3. Right. Therefore, 1 plus 1 over n power n is a bounded sequence. This ends the recording for this session. In summary, the proof is divided into four steps. The four key steps is here, binomial expansion, analyzing each term, show that this is less than 1 over k factorial and each term is less than 1 over 2 power k minus 1 and the sum of power 2, power half eventually lead you to that the, C, the sequence is bounded by 3. Alright, so that ends the recording.